This particular passage of John chapter 6, the 60 to 69, always fascinates me. And the point is this. Many of us who claim we are Christi Christians, and for that matter, Catholic Christians, and are followers of Jesus, behave like the disciples who left Jesus and went to follow their former ways of life. Why did they leave Jesus? You remember that Jesus was mentioning yesterday that his flesh is what? Food. Earlier, he had been mentioning the bread of God, then he brings it to the bread of life, and then tells them, oh, just as your ancestors ate manna in the desert, the son of man, I mean, so like as we say in logic, from the known to the unknown. So he, Jesus begins gradually trying to teach them. And then he tells them that, okay, now the bread I'm talking about, it's not bread that you buy in the market too. It is my flesh. And today they said, but this is difficult. We can't understand this. So sometimes when people are leaving the Catholic Church, we get worried. But the truth is that we cannot dilute the church. We can't dilute it because of someone who doesn't want to come to understand. Because there's no question you ask that there can be what? We won't try and give you an answer. But to dilute the church, to to turn this church to something else. No, we can't do that. Because Jesus did not say, hey, we say, I'm just saying, say, the, the, the bread looks like my body. He did not say, he did not, he asked the elders, will you also follow them? And Simon Peter said, hey, here, come To whom shall we go to? You have the words of eternal life. And we are convinced. And Peter, who is saying, we are convinced. It's the same Peter who betrayed Jesus three times. You see, the fact that you have not walked away, at least there is what? There's hope. You may fall. Sometimes you may doubt. Themselves, they were doubting when Jesus died. They said, ah, not going away, we. They couldn't get it. But you see, it is all part and parcel of the package. We sing. Is it hymn number 350 or so? I don't know that. Oh, another song. Give me the wings of faith. We sing it normally at funerals and all that. So the saints above, when they were here on, 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 on earth below, they wrestled hard. They had doubts, isn't it? It's there. They had fears. That is the reality. That is it. But you know, you still persevere. You don't give up. You don't say, then I'm going back to my former way. Like these disciples did. You move on. Because your faith, the little faith that you have, it is God's grace that nourishes it. And makes it blossom. So my dear brothers and sisters, are we going to follow Jesus? Or it is too hard for us. The teachings that the Lord has given to his church, this is the original. <laughs> you know? You want original what? <laughs> original shoes. But you don't want original church. Why? What is wrong with you? Because it's too, Roman for here. It's too, but it's too difficult. Hey, Tobo, take your time. Take your time. Very intelligent people have lived in this church. Intelligent. One person was telling me, Father, now, are you sure? I said, even if I'm wrong, I thank God I'm wrong. He being a Catholic, I am wrong. People like Father Hinfe, Donald Hinfe, intelligence. They have been Catholic priests. <laughs> Until their segment, they are still there. They are still priests. They still believe in the Catholic church. Pope Benedict the Sixteenth, look at his wisdom. My goodness, the humility. Those things, they, they inspire me. I'm telling you, nothing. So, even if I'm wrong, and I want to be wrong with these men, <laughs> I should be wrong with them. I'm telling you, you are in the original church. And like Jesus is saying, we, we believe. And that is why if you're Catholic in the church, and you are not believing, there's a problem. Because you must come to believe that what you have, 
It is mystical. It is mysterious. That is it. Christ tells them, the bread I'm talking about is not tea bread or Venezuela, B foster or then A bread or whatever bread. It is a <laughs> chibum. Yes, way. This is difficult. We are going. What can you do? Because everybody, by virtue of creation, you were created in the what? In the image and likeness of God. And that is why we are not AI, artificial intelligence. You have the gift and capacity to reason, you have the gift and capacity of freedom. God will not force you. Nope. Nope. Unless you have zeal like Saul. You saw Saul yesterday, whom we call Paul. Also, moving. And sometimes you are moving with zeal, but the path that you are using, God must direct you. That is a different thing. But to, to, for you to tell yourself that, no, per my reason, per my, I will not follow. What can God do? There are many people who are insulting God on Facebook and social media. Some of my students, one to them I taught in one school, she said, between the government and the what is wrong with you? If, if you don't believe in God, keep quiet. Always insulting Christians. Always. And this girl was part of us. He says that she has arrived. So you continue. By the time you realize that, you, sabi, sabi, you, but you see, God is full of mercy. He allows <laughs> rain to fall on those who are insulting him. Those who are persecuting him. Everything. Rain. Sunshine. You are in land cruiser. You are in abroad. He has no problem. Because the parable of the wheat, the Daniels, you remember, on the last day, there will be no mercy for the cripple, as we say in Ghana. So please, let us take note. Follow Jesus. Oh, yes. Faith comes with mystery. Faith comes with mystical things. Let's persevere. And always tell God to give us the grace to understand him better. Amen. Amen.